Good morning, everyone. So um, since the pandemic, me and the kids literally do the same thing every day. We get up, we get washed up, eat breakfast, we'll have our school in the house. Then um, in between, we'll do activities or go outside and play, and I'll try to clean the house in between. Um, so do not mind the way we look. I know we look crazy, but why get dressed and all this while we, when we're staying home? <laughs> When we do go out, we do change and, you know, get ourselves looking decent. But anyways, um, so what our normal routine was is to do, like, homework at the house. And, um, like, we'll do our letters. We'll go over days of the week, months, seasons, um, activities. And then we'll also watch some teachers that we call it on our YouTube, on YouTube and um, watch those or do story time from the local library on our they do live Facebook story time, and that has been great for a couple weeks, but doesn't last. You know how kids are, they kind of get bored of stuff. So I ended up going to the library and got this book, 100 Easy Steams Activities Book by Andrea Scalzo Yi. And in this book has really great activities, so I decided to try this out instead with the kids so their, um, you know, attention span isn't just... You know, there is short, so you want to keep them occupied and busy and have make it fun. So I thought maybe we'll do this. And a lot of stuff we actually have at the house. So this one today, we're doing the shaving cream rain clouds. It's something simple and easy and something good for the kids to learn and, you know, learn about science. So the first one we need is... We need a glass a vase or a clear glass vase or a jar or cup. So I ended up getting this. It's a cup that I damaged because I didn't read the direction to put it in the washing machine. I mean, not washing machine, dishwasher, so I damaged it. So I think this would be great. Uh, shaving cream. So I got the shaving cream here. And then um, food coloring. Thankfully, I have food coloring. I normally don't, but I have bought this months ago because one of my church was having some activities so we have food coloring and dropper but this one seems like it has a little tip at the end so this might do fine and this is the mccormick brand but i have a dropper that i could have used and this i got from also obviously a medicine um, dropper that i think would have worked fine and um that's it and what we're doing is we're doing rain cloud that's going to show um clouds basically in rain cloud so max so the first step is to fill the water. Here, baby. Fill the water. Um, three quarters. Three quarters full. So let's fill it. Up. <gasps> Max, ooh, 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 ooh. you gotta pick it up and then pour it. Go ahead and hold it and then pour it. I'll tell you when to stop. Good job. That's good. That's good. Yeah. All right. That's the water. No, not yet. And then you have to spray in there. Put you got to push it down and spray. So the and then so what we're gonna do is fill the rest of the cup. You can uh, sit up then, Max. If you're gonna either stand up on your chair. So we're gonna fill it the rest up the cup up with um, shaving cream. Oh, and we're already out. <laughs> so. That one was white. This one has pink tint to it, but that's fine. I Whatever can't... works. Yeah, go ahead. You have to push the button right here. So my son was saying that he didn't want to do no projects or anything because he was just so bored. He was tired of the repetitive things that we were doing at the house. So this is something new for us now, and he seems to already be excited about it. <laughs> Get inside the cup, silly boy. <laughs> I don't know if this is really going to work because this is a little bit, uh, this isn't like the cream, like the, um, like the whipped cream type look one. This is a little bit more jelly. Max, you're miss he is completely missing the cup. Here. But we'll see if this works. This is all we had at the house right now. Okay, that's good. So we'll see. So we got. So now we're going to take the food coloring and to put a couple of drops in there baby now? yes go ahead squeeze it in there and let's see if this works to get the other one too now get the other colors try other colors now that was red so look you see you see the colors madeline you see the water 
Yeah. So do different colors. Just drop several colors of different, um, several drops of different colors. So that was what color? What color is that? Look at the top. Orange. Yeah, that one's orange, yep. And then that one is what? Red. Not, don't look at the bottom, look at the top. What color is this top? That one's blue, that one is what? Yellow. Yellow. And That's then this one is green. green. So um, go ahead and drop it in there. Right here? Yeah. So right here, you, what you're seeing is we the colors weaving through into the cup. You see that? Mm -hmm. Whoa, Max! Now this one? Yeah, uh-huh, do whichever color, just a couple of drops. You see? So what happened is that when the water up here gets too heavy, it falls through it, it, because the, it's getting too heavy for the cloud. So it releases into the atmosphere water, and that's what creates rain. That's what the book says. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you, do you understand? So this is starting to get heavy up here, and it turns to rain, and it goes down. That's how we get rain, baby. That's how we get rain. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then so next time, what we can also do is in certain areas of our, like, base... Okay, that's good enough. We're gonna need this food coloring. We got more. We have a lot more food pro uh, projects later, and um, you can take the shaving cream and do certain areas, make smaller clouds, and then drop different colors on that cloud. So, do you understand what I said? Mm -hmm. So, what did you learn? The way from down uh -huh. is heavy up here. The, with the rain. Good job! I think you said it better than I did. <laughs> okay, now it looks like we're having a terrible storm. No, that's enough. We need more food coloring for other projects. You can try to look for something to do next.